Jet's loose with us. Ugh. Fuck it, I can hate that damn team. Scrib almost fumbled it into a touchdown at the end of the half. Oh. What? It was, he had, I called my last time out to make him throw one more play, and all he had to do was run the ball and get to halftime. He tried to throw it, and he scrambled, and I hit him, and he fumbled the ball, and I was about five yards from scoring a touchdown. <laughs> Yeah, that's not what you do. On EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see the 42-year-old six-time Super Bowl champion Tom Brady and the New England Patriots as they take on Josh Rosen and the Miami Dolphins. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action here on Brandon Gunn. Interception. Okay, coach. Well, in just a few short months, this place will be the epicenter of the sporting world when it hosts Super Bowl 54. It's Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida. The excitement brewing here in South Florida. As a moment ago, the Dolphins starters were introduced to this home crowd. They're fired up as well as they get set to match All right, time to get smoked. Tom Brady and the defending Super Bowl champion, New England Patriots. Hi everyone, Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. Charles, you look at the Dolphins as they enter play in this one. They come in off a loss in the season opener, which doubled as the home opener. And give when you it, lose it, that it. way at home, season what? opener, it almost feels like two losses. So it's a big fight to get yourselves ready to go to play the next week. On the other side of the field for the visiting Patriots, they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. They so Belichick. I when I watched their game take and their victory oh. last week, is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. The children will grow, and it's the final weekend of summer, but we've got the NFL, and we're underway Dream. on EA Sports. This is taken at his full. Uh, and not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Okay, baby, okay. The Dolphins set for their first drive, led out by the new face of the franchise in his second season from UCLA, Josh Rosen. And we remember all the turmoil that Rosen had to go through in the offseason. Cliff Kingsbury arrives in Arizona. His preference, Kyler Murray. So that marriage started there. Rosen left in limbo, but ultimately he may have found himself in the best possible landing spot as a part of this Miami franchise. This is Kenyon Drake, the fourth man from Alabama. Looking for a scene, but Dude, this Dolphins all line is so bad. I would imagine. Only go in Slarmy Tunsil. I did sign for now. Peril's not bad. But. I remember when Laramie Tunsil was coming out of Mississippi and I was evaluating him for the draft in 2016. Ended up writing down a description that I tended to like, and I'm going to use it here now. He's got feet like a receiver. He's got a body like an offensive lineman and hands like a boxer. Put it all together, you've got a heck of an offensive lineman. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Devontae Parker was the intended receiver. And that'll make it third I'm happy down. no one has the Dolphins in my, my league because the they'll rage quit so quick. Why you say that? They would not win a game. <laughs> what? what makes you say that? <laughs> this team is so bad, Luke. It is bad. Please get that. Thank you. <coughs> Love Parker, but hey, Drake, that's about it. Rosen's a solid, but. Oof. I have to go that way. Let's go that way. Kasiki. Kasiki. 
The numbers for him from a week ago. Dude, really? Uh, probably that was exactly what they need against this defense. Oh yeah. Definitely that way. Go. God damn. Run quicker, Wilson. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. <coughs> A one-yard gain there, following the three-yard pickup on first down. Uh, Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Oh my. He played me a little closer. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive. And they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down. They did. Big time pick up for them. And now, I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone. Because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. It makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early when you're down in distance count. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Seven yards on the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. They're able to locate Wilson. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just Get outside somewhere. the 10 at the 11. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. And no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. On second down, it's Drake, and he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Well, they have that one snipped out. Excellent run blitz. Stop that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task. And that is caught. There we go. Miami. Simple drive. <laughs> His first touchdown of the new season. Again, really, that's been to say. They still ain't fixed this stupid crap about fumbling every play. Oh, that, no, 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 no. I could understand if it was some quarterback that don't hardly run, but Cam Newton runs enough that he shouldn't fumble every time he's hit. And it, and, uh, it depends on their stamina, too. this is what they said all week long. Well, I mean, Cam Newton still. Cam Newton's a big dude. It ought to take something fierce to knock the ball from a dude big as that. Don't care if he's a quarterback. Just because he's a quarterback don't mean he ought to be prone to fumble every play. I think I feel of Rosen. Probably not good. They've been there now three years in a row, and only one team has made it four. That's the Buffalo Bills, but remember, they lost all four in the early 90s. Bro, what what is CPU running? Tackling is unreal. They break every tackle. I swear. Just wait until you run up against one of the running backs with the with the uh, uh, with the X Factor ability that makes them break more tackles. It's unreal. Like a. Uh, when, like the first one free or whatever no, 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 no. if you run up against a running back with freight train bro I need dig like in. dig in go I don't know why I always pick what's a placement pretty but I keep doing it okay and he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Xavier Howard up to make the tackle. A look now at our starting defense. 
He's in. What in the world? Number 32, dead last in the NFL. One thing you do know, you know they'll be fired up because they're facing a top five rushing attack. And even if they have early... You know how stupid it is when you try to sneak the ball and because your own lineman gets in the way, he doesn't get in? Doesn't happen too much to me. Look, I tried to sneak it twice and he ran oh, it back to the line twice. Well, that was god awful tackling. His second touchdown on the season. And the bad tackle back in. An extra point of tying this one up. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. Then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. I keep Only running so into the so guys. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. Interception. Last drive, a long drive, but not just Scrab, all you had to do was kill the clock. You threw it right back to me. I would think that they well. would because if they were First down. The last drive, starting backed up in their own territory. Why would you change anything? They got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Because the secondary, they really look foolish. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And they will only muster a yard here. To the you know, I may have said it already, but I think the Panthers are so far my favorite team. This position just continues yeah. to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack. Russell Welch's thing is, if he gets on like a thing, I get to read who's blitzing. Oh wow. I hadn't, run up, hadn't run up against that yet. It's pretty good. I seen it, well, I seen it was a blitz radar. Like, yeah. What is that? It helps you read the blitz. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for <laughs> It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver. He, I, I faked like I was going to scramble, and he ran charging it with the linebacker trying to hit Stigman. I just stopped, and he completely missed. Yeah. Unfortunately, I threw it away, though. Without weakening our overall defense. You're exactly oh my right. god, I didn't know this. To match up to him. I believe we can run one yard. Nope, we can't run for one yard. Uh, can I kick it? No, they're telling me to go for it. That's ballsy, I like it. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They'll try and throw for it with Rosen. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. Touchdown in the game that's about to Seven time. yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. And he'll snag about five yards down in the 32. Getting the sense, Charles, they're going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. They were trying to go back to Allen there, and it's third and five. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing the receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Well, they go with a slant that time, 15 yards at a first down. We saw everything we needed to see right there. Timing, anticipation, really? and accuracy. And when Josh Rosen throws a slant, oh, okay. Parker for a Miami touchdown. Like as a former defender, I would be angry as well. Could not get off the field. 
Well executed offensive drive. No matter what the defense tried, they couldn't stop them. There we go. In these wet conditions, the point after is up and good, and that makes the score 14 to seven. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That's fielded in the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is a Go defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible to something a little more advantageous. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors. Oh, my football. God. They're looking at a third and six here to start. That was too easy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hmm. I've never had a receiver that wide open against anyone. <sighs> Just Jesus. Too quick. He was so, dude, he was so wide open that... I didn't find him in time and didn't throw the ball quite quick enough and almost got tackled. Huh. There we go. He ran, he ran. He just ran right by. Scrambling now, nobody covered on that side of the field. He just ran right by uh, whoever was supposed to be covering him. He was so wide open, I didn't see him in time to throw the ball right. <laughs> but nobody within um, three miles of him. <laughs> Looking deep downfield. No way. And I was about to say. <coughs> Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. <laughs> it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that's nope. going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. No. Let's go. Let's talk about Dolphins. Incomplete. One thing's for sure, when you get a big receiver and you trust him downfield, you got to give him opportunities to go up and get that. I do love the new, like, the display. Yeah, I do too. Nice job <laughs> oh, they please. finally changed it. They, they, like, they kept it the same, but they just tweaked it a little bit. That's all you need to do. Just tweak it. Oh, uh, I'm going to throw this one quick. Ah, that's what I'm going to put on this. Try to run it. What is that button? I know there's a new... There's a... Art... Ah, oh, okay. You know how you, uh... Okay. It's gonna take me a while to get used to that. As I look... You know how you normally run with a regular running back as a QB after you cross the line yep. of scrimmage? You could do that behind the line of scrimmage now by running and you... Hit the R2 button. Oh, wow. It helps him run a little bit. On third down, Rosen. This oh, great. You're going to get there. Damn. Damn. It'll be a game of eight, but it also will be a fourth down. Script, it really says something when you have to resort to running and scrambling <laughs> to win the game. And then they can make a big play. You know, they can like, not even trying to throw the ball. Just really taking it and zipping, zipping down, down the field. <laughs> so a change of possession here on the punt, and the Patriots take over. Brady and the Patriots now first and ten at their own twenty-yard line. To throw is Brady. 
I can't tackle for a lick. Who is that guy anyway? It's Benjamin Watson. I got used to that. Well, certainly feels like the Patriots have a repass option in their playbook. Oh, wow. That scared the shit out of me. Ow. I, I would never think of Tom Brady maybe running the ball. Exactly. <laughs> hit me off. I'm like, oh, shit. Because I committed on the run and they threw it where I was going to be. Let's go. We got a sack, baby. Gotcha. With a couple of other tight ends for the pass, Frank Wycheck and Dallas Clark. And those guys were excellent players, but how about what we're seeing right now? 505 and rising. What a nice career he's put together. Officially, that'll go as a 52 yard punt, not too shabby. And it'll be Dolphin football. A reminder coming up later tonight Sunday night football, a good one from Atlanta. Eagles and Falcons, 8 20 Eastern, and then tomorrow. On Monday Night Football, Odell Beckham back in New York, back in MetLife Stadium. Browns and Jets, 8-15 Eastern on Monday night. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. I think you mentioned in the opening drive that these guys needed to establish the run, protect the young QB. Actually broke that down, believe it or not. So how would you assess things so far? Oh, let's go. Juke. Oh. Like that, Drake. Maybe not as effectively as they wanted to. But I think we'll see more because this game goes long because they want to continue to take care of that young QB. That one good for 33 and a first. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on baseboard or in a playbook. I don't know what we're in is throwing because the script's not the way. Uh oh. It may be about a touchdown. Oh, come on. This tackling in this game is god off. God damn it. Why did I even try to throw? I should just. Held it for the sack. Scratch not bad at all. He beat me by a touchdown, but he stopped the run. Between Lamar Jackson scrambling all over the place. Mark Ingram. Sucks. I gotta take the sack for now. We'll try to get rid of this. Scrib, but Scrib's not bad at all. It's just, I guess, maybe from time to time, he might give up a big like a, like the touchdown pass. Like, a, I, I'm, I'm, I swear, I've never had any receiver that wide open in any game of Madden. <laughs> Any game match. Ever? No, ever. Like the literally, dude. It's like the receiver got a head start, and the whole defense was down here, and the receiver was standing up here. It's like it's like Canadian football. Like he got a head start and was like way ahead of everybody, and was, nobody was within the country mile of him. All right, no play actions because we can't protect during a play action pass. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big. Now a hit and a loose football. Oh, pick up the ball. No. What? No way. That's what 
That sucks. As the returner, you know who you're buying dinner for later. Oh, without a doubt, because he just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turned it over there. That's a big momentum changer and put your defense. Oh, why is it like that? Throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side, and he'll be taken down, but not before they cross midfield. That goes for a gain of 31. His 600th NFL catch. Congratulations. Quite the accomplishment. Brady now hitting on 80% of his passes in the early going. 8 of 10. It's first down. Brady. He hits his target. Left side. Watson. Another nice game. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your key, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That's spraying the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my map. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they got, they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go. What are you doing, 20? Oh my god, he's just standing there. Sometimes those tight ends are a mismatch. They found the mismatch there. And that's exactly why you want to drop those types of plays because you know, going through the face of the franchise thing, seeing how nice all the teams look and how detailed it looks, how detailed the college football presentation looks, it makes me almost want to cry. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28 yard line. Almost want to cry at the fact that there's no NCAA game out. There's that. He looks great. Like what? Bring, please, bring back the NCAA games. Oh dear, EA. I hate you dearly, but please. I think it's more up to deal with. It's EA, but well, yeah, I, yeah, it's definitely NCAA. I don't see what the big deal is. It's not like they're signing multi-million dollar contracts here. And I mean, if you're a high pro, high quality athlete in college, you don't want to you mess up your knee. I think you ought to have a way to at least have a little money saved up. That's fine. No, no, no. sense. In no. no sense in restricting them to so much that. You know, it's kind of ridiculous. Well, it looks like it's going to be uh, Fitzmagic time. Because, dude, they they can't even uh, they can't even sign an autograph. <laughs> no, they can't. That's ridiculous. I don't know if you just heard me, but uh, Rosen. Oh, Rosen's back. We're good. A reminder coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando, standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in the second week of the regular season. Now a pass here caught by Oh my goodness gracious. Able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 23 yards, the final tally. The former seventh round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback, and not just a productive one, a very good one. At Kent State, right? Yes, yeah, a great leader, a guy who could make plays with his feet and his arm. Got to the NFL and had to convert him to being a receiver and was drafted that way. And that conversion, oh boy, it's been good. Now, meanwhile, 
while the throw by Brady knocked away incomplete. Red Allison, the intended receiver, and it's second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. A nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. They'll wind up with seven on the dump off, but it'll set up third down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Yeah, if uh, if these is the Browns in my league too, I may not be these dudes at all. I, I don't want to. I don't want to be in the same thing. In the same two different positions. Yeah, I hear you. Like, I, I'm fine with facing him in, in one league. I don't want to have to sit here and face him over and over and over and over again. Looking back to the air on second down, it's Brady. This will be caught at about the six. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. New England on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Again, it's Brady. And that's going to be caught for Patriots. <sighs> Tom Brady, his third touchdown pass in this first half. And the Patriots add on to the start the Redskins. Heck of a start to his season. He had two touchdowns. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to slow the quarter length with these. Simulation all mad and 28 to 14 at the half. It's not that realistic. Jesus. He was shot out of a cannon. I would imagine success this early. Great momentum going forward for the rest of the year. He keeps this up. That's going to be Channing's MVP anytime he touches the ball. Good starting field position as he's on this guy of the 40. Comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take yeah, I've always, like I said, I've always wanted to try like rebuilds and stuff. It's true, but I never really want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. To throw is Rosen. No, Grant. Oh, my God. That's just offense football right there. When you choke it. Uh, I was just trying to get in field goal range, and then I got I made the catch to get in field goal range, and they strip him of the ball. That is offense football. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening weekend. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll kick things off with a rematch of Super Bowl 25. Buffalo making one of two visits to MetLife Stadium this year. This one take on the New York Giants. And they are seconds away from halftime, all tied in that one. Next, let's get over to Baltimore to check on the Ravens at home at M&T Bank Stadium. And this one going the visitor's way as the Cardinals have the lead in that one. David Johnson with two touchdowns there. Lastly, let's check in at our nation's capital. See what's happening with the Redskins at home at FedEx Field. And you can see they trail the visiting Cowboys. Two touchdown passes there for Dak Prescott. In the game you're watching, it's who else? Tom Brady, a strong first half. His three touchdown passes have his guys out in front. As we hand things back over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, coach. 
coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. calling for more of the same the rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half fielded about a yard deep oh. Get it. and he'll take it a yard or so past the 20 yeah, see, the I think line. if I could be wrong here but I really think if the Redskins the players they drafted if they turn out like people think they turn will turn out, I think the Redskins might be back to being good in two or three years. If Haskins, if Haskins turns out well, that's a big step in the direction. Montez Sweat needs to develop into a player, a good player as well, but... I think it really depends on Haskins. Brady and the Patriots now, first and ten at their own 21. From the gun, it's Brady. Because if Haskins, if Haskins ain't it. Oh, my goodness. I suck at tackling. Tackling sucks. If Haskins is a bust, then they're back to the drawing board. Brady in general on those quick hitters, he just releases the ball so fast. He does, and he's so accurate. But most of the time, he wins before the ball's even snapped by his pre-snap read. Finds out where the defense is and delivers it to the proper place. First down, here's White. Give me that tackle, Pete. I learned how to tackle, finally. Third quarter, got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out. But a running game can really benefit your team right now. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now Brady. Out left. Allison's got it. That one a first down pickup of eight. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam going. They'll run on first down. White takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. Got a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping. This big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now White. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away when they just soften the defense right there. Hey, there we go. About damn time. Stop the ball third down. Took a picture. on that play though, huh? Not a whole lot of yardage. You get that grab, you probably want a first down. And he'll be the one in the film session to be saying, hey, run that one back. Yeah. Run that one back. One more time. Let's see that one again. One more time. And they won't. Eight more time. They won't. Didn't get much out of it. They'll start the drive with Drake. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Look, don't try to steal my viewers. Quick hitter inside. What? <laughs> I'm not stealing. I'm not stealing. Stealing your viewers. I have to have subscribers to have viewers in the first place. You got like 50. I've got like 10. 50? That's a little over, I think I got like 30. Heck, I do my 30 if I have Drake, you got me for pass protect because I need time. 
please, somebody. Just see, keep going. Ah, oh, th and then Rosa throws an inaccurate pass. Nothing new. I love you, Rosen, but throwing on the run is not your type of thing. You know, how, how is he still running? <laughs> you ever seen that, that Ryan Moody fellow? Yeah. He makes good points, but there are times when it's just like, dude, you're, you're kind of over there now. Like, we get it. The game isn't that great. The game is probably not as good as it could be. But, come on now. Like, I agreed with him on 19, but, like, it's like 20. 20 has been out for, like, a week, and you've made, like, 10 videos talking about how horrible it is. Oh, God. Like, I... Like, I mean, oh, I it's not the best. Like, it's not going to be the best. It's not going to be the greatest. But, I mean, it's so far, I don't think it's terrible. Not terrible. It's actually, pretty, it's actually pretty decent. I just need to learn how to tackle. Like, God damn it, like one, one thing that I've, I've said is I feel like it's really easy to block it. I feel like... Well, I can't really just block it because of the damn Dolphins and they can't block a lick, so. Every game I've played, like, I've played with the Steelers and the Panthers. And I can't. Oh. I don't remember how the teams I've played with, but. I haven't taken many sacks. I haven't been. Yeah, I haven't been. No, I did like sack three, three or four times a game. That's about right. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind. Because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the... The decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Whoever's ever messing me in my uh, stream can just PM me. Cause I think it's see if it goes. I had the bet. Whoops. I know one thing we're not about to do. We're not about to start Case Keenum over Haskins. I don't care that Haskins is a 73. <laughs> He's starting. Besides, with the way the way I feel, the way it apparently it works this year is the more you play your rookies, the better they develop. Yeah. Which, to a point, I can see. It may make sense, though. If you don't play them, they can't. They can't do it. Oh my God. Maybe I might just use Case Keenum after that throw. <laughs> <laughs> Good God! Oh. oh my God, Drake, are you gonna get hurt every other game? Dude, he threw. I don't know how that happened, but he was running backwards and spun around and threw a crossbody throw about 30 yards downfield and then completed it perfectly. Impressive. For Case Keenum, that's yeah, that's impressive. I feel like it's more fun to like to pass this year too. It's, yeah. it's really easy. It seems more easy to run, but it feels more fun to pass. Come on, Dwayne Allen. 
Play hold. Now that's one they hate. The ball's got to come all the way back. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out, and they have to start over after the penalty. From the gun, it's Drake. Oh. Man, he'll be brought down just... Uh, if you have a user game, you have to message it privately, and you guys gotta sort out with time. If you ever, ever have a user, you gotta contact him. I can't. You guys gotta work out time when you guys can play. Oh, that's a bad pass. Who's messaging? Uh, I, I, I don't know the you. I can't tell who it is from the username, but just PM. But don't worry about it till we get to week one. And I can tell you guys how to do it. Come on, Moose. Dive. Right, That's why I figure you were Pagush. Oh, I gotta go for it. We gotta go for it. He can't. Yeah, just PM him when we get to week one. That's how I normally do it. And probably the person you face will probably do it as well. God damn it. Well, I had to go for it. It's too far for a field goal try. You don't really gain a whole lot out of a punt, so I don't think you have much of a problem with that, do you? No, not at all. I think it's the right play. It's the exact right play because even if you want to play defense and pin them deep, you know how hard it is for a punter to, to knock one dead inside the 10-yard line. That's not, uh, that's not necessarily easily done. So I think going for it there was the right call. Oh my god! <laughs> That's definitely PI. Alright. Element was going in the middle of the field. And before he had the chance to catch the ball, I hit stick him. And it caused a PI. That was definitely PI, bro. <laughs> bro, I, I knocked the shit out of him. And I saw the flag. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty fucking funny. Oh my god, that, that is, that's the best move ever. Brady deferring to White on the draw, and that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to lower the time of these games because this, when this offense gathers the score is about to be bad. Are you probably losing? Losing. I ain't winning with this team. Hey, I got a user pick. About damn time. Took long enough. Here we go, Baker. Uh, I'm losing 35 to 14 with three minutes left in the third quarter. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're they're good. Patriots are good. I would say so. God damn it, wrong play. I am running over to the Well, let's try to well, pass play action. What the hell do I have to lose? Nope. Man, that was off. He was looking for his tight end, Mike Gesicki, but it's going to be second down. 
You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. For whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when the next defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Now an open man, that's the tight end, Gesicki, it's complete. And he'll go oh no, not Gesicki now. <laughs> Luke, we're dropping like flies. <laughs> no, no. On first down, Drake. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. They'll keep it on the ground. Drake, and he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16 yard line. Well, now a guy on their team goes down. Dislocated shorter. will not return to this. Will not return for this game. Well done. To Miami. And to the right side here, it's Allen. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Oh, I should have not have. I should just have been away. I don't know why I keep thinking Rosen's Russell Wilson. I don't either. <laughs> like, I'm so run happy to rookie views. That is No! Oh. Took a bit of first down. So that's the second time this game they've given it up on fourth down. They're now one for three on fourth down conversion drives. But they must feel good about what they're doing, right? They continue to go <coughs> on fourth down. Yeah. Give the defense a lot of credit, though. They've stopped them two out of three times. Usually, you have fourth down plays that you have dialed up and ready to go, and you think you're going to be successful. Not so far in this game. On second and 12, Brady. It got his man complete. And he's brought down after a very nice game. It's a gain of 34. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with that has been confidence. Because even if they had the right coverage, they still did well, it over. Play the Eagles first game. This is going to be Graham. It will be grim. Situation when you're up in the fourth quarter, they're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. But that's a nice play. You got me fired up, partner. But can they do it back to back plays? All the training that you go through as a defense for these situations, when you have to get the ball back, everything you go through, holding up the runner, breaking it the football, getting to the passer, getting it out of his hands, whatever way, they have to get the ball back. Now, can they stand tall again for a huge fourth quarter stop? Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple go of picks, on, you can put yourself in jeopardy. 
And the Dolphins getting set to go here. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went for an out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. And he's able to get out to the 32. Brought down there. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? No. And it's intercepted. It went absolutely nowhere, friend. Oh, my God. Why? I knew that. Oh, my God. That was inaccurate. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Jesus. Closed, locked, reinforced. Goskowski with the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. This is taken at the three. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the Come third on. line. Yes. Josh Rosen and company getting set for their next possession. So, Charles, there are the numbers. What's happened here? Defensive adjustments that's caused him to sort of fall off a bit? I think so. That has to happen. You've got to make some changes because in the first half, they were pretty effective. But it's now oh, my God. How many more times are going to turn over the ball? And to the 43. So, down inside the 45 to the 40. Well, I remember, well, we ran three plays and gained two yards, so. <laughs> Don't think too bad. of that defense right there. Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Pick me up. Here we go. Drake will start the drive on the ground. Nine yards is the pick up there. They'll have a second and one. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. Seven yards there and a first down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Now Rosen looking to throw. Allen has it left side. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Give him a couple on the catch at second and eight. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, there have been a ton of sacks. They were just trying to prevent another. So what you're telling me is the conventional way has not really worked for them, huh? Not at all. Not at all. So he tries to grab him here, and they still get caught. No way I throw it there again. What am I doing? should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. The intended receiver was Jakeem Grant, but now it's third down. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. <coughs> still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. 
two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. How did he do that? I've got, how did he do it? I mean, in this type of weather, it's not just catching it, it's seeing it coming towards it. Maybe that's why he ended up having to go one-handed, but boy, what a catch. That yeah, was a spectacular one-handed grab. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And possession will switch hands, first and 10. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. Like, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they, they will take them out, but for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. In third and medium, they opted to run instead of pass, and it worked. First down. Brandon, with a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball. You often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. On the ground is Michelle, and he's across midfield and into Miami territory. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Brady to his tight end, Lacoste. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. It feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving, keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. From the gun on third down, Brady. And he'll have his man. That's Edelman. And down inside the 15 he goes. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So the Patriots with the football as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Into the red zone, it's Brady. And it's caught. How sway. Into the end zone, it's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Looking like they're well on their way to a 2 0 start. All smiles right now on that sideline, isn't it? As well, is it just me or the uprights look a lot bigger? No, it's not just you. <laughs> like, man, these things are thick. <laughs> but what's going on here? He gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. The Dolphins offense now working their way back <coughs> over the field. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest, <laughs> don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah. Use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it. Because you're not going to want that feeling. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. 
Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well coordinated. The front no, not the Parker now. Man, the who's next? The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. They want to go to the air again with Rosen. No way he does that. No way, bro. Brewster. They start to drive with White. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. It's one thing to win, it's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this. And carry oh, no, my Tyra uh, Taylor's in the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So we had six turnovers. Anyone explain that to me? What? Uh, Carson Wentz is perfectly healthy on the Philadelphia sideline, but uh, uh, they've got Tyrod Taylor. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. We'll see you next time. Yep, I knew it was the right side of the line. That sucks. Not that week. Haskins finally completed a pass. My God. Yeah, Dwayne Haskins just completed a pass. Hey. And then got sacked the very next play. <laughs> he is one of eight for seven yards. It's only seven to three. <laughs> Suck it, Mike.
Oh god, Mayor's Mayor's got that in twenty now. <laughs> yeah, I know. God. People, man, the people, the people that I invited, we invited or suggested, are gone, and got off. I know. They're faggots. Alright, let's start scouting some of my help. Save this real quick. Keep getting notifications about the league. <sighs> Cloud. Use your practice squad to develop younger players that could eventually contribute in games.
Alright, let's see if we can beat the Owen two Cowboys. Wait, oof. Wait. I gotta lower the clock. I'll lower it to 12 minutes. It's a coach. You're set for Madden football on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see teams with a couple of running backs who each went over 100 yards a weekend ago. As it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the Dallas Cowboys. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half. But it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. OGA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State and the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. A moment ago, here was the scene Shit, where the Cowboys that store guy. emerging from their tunnel. <coughs> it was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the Miami Dolphins. Hello again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gunn, joined as always by Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Cowboy team entering play. It's an early test here after two losses to start the season and a game they probably really need. Obviously, no way do they want to get to 0-3. Not many teams make the playoffs with that kind of a start. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Dolphins, they come in at an early crossroads here facing a tough opponent on the road where a loss would make them 0-3. And when you start that way, doubts really start to creep into a locker room and guys start to battle each other instead of worrying about winning games. <laughs> the Titans started over with three. <laughs> it's an Indian summer afternoon. Perfect conditions for football, and off we go on EA Sports. That'll be taken in the end zone. I probably should have taken the knee boats, whatever. And the decision to break <coughs> up you Colin Kaepernick? is up a yard or two shy of... Aww, shucks. Set to see Josh Rosen command this offense, the number 10 pick in the 2018 draft. And frankly, this is the type of game that a great quarterback relishes because 0 and 2 on the road, everything's against him and his team. No one can expect them to win. Sometimes you band together real tight in that situation, and if he plays really well, they've got a chance to get that done. Now, Drake, they'll only get a couple up to about the 30. And here now a look at the Dolphins' offensive unit. And I like taking the focus to running back Kenyon Drake because when he came out of Alabama as a third-round pick, he's probably more known for a special teams play than what he provides on offense. But the Dolphins have found him a heck of a threat, both running it and catching it out of the backfield. From the 30 on second down, Rosen got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Now Rosen. On the right side, open is Kosicki. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and hold down their production, but I 
would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. From the shotgun, it's Rosen. And this is incomplete. Uh, you got a young quarterback, you know, maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that, because when the game starts to move fast, and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best, their arm. He's, he's slinging it on them. And he will go down, a Cowboys sack. Defensive end, Demarcus Lawrence applied the heat. I spent a lot of extra time preparing for this game, watching this offensive line, because they gave up five sacks last week in their loss. They just gave up another one now. They don't seem to be working together as a cohesive unit. Right? Four guys might have it right, but the fifth guy is giving something up. They've got to find a way to all get on the same page. So here are the Cowboys now backed up to get this drive started. They'll be let out by the former Mississippi State product, the mobile quarterback, Dak Prescott. And I saw that he had an interesting quote in the research packet that we had after last week's game. It's all on me now. I've got to lead my team and find a way for us to win a game. 0-2, but they're at home. I guess he's going to try and find a way to get the home crowd involved. There's no way. This one complete on the slam route. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. There are Witten's numbers from last week's game. Seven catches, 97 yards, and a touchdown. And most teams mark down big plays as ones that gain 10 yards or more. He certainly has big playability, and we just saw it on display. It gets it over the middle to Cobb. Holding offense. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. The offensive starters now for the Cowboys. Uh, it's so good to see big number 72, Travis Frederick, back in a Cowboys uniform. Remember, he missed all of last season. But Guillaume Barre syndrome, and prior to that, He'd been to the Pro Bowl four straight times at center. And his return, a huge boost to the offensive line. Better to have him in uniform than coaching. Here's the man who's led the league in rushing twice in three seasons, Ezekiel Elliott. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. Well executed there on second down, so do you go back to the air on third? Well, that's a possibility, but now you've opened up things to where you showed that you would run the ball in long-distance situation. You might come back again because I doubt they believe you'll do it a second time. He's got his target. It's come. A big play here for Dallas. 41 yards. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. The big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely love for. How about that one? That was great, and what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired up. That's a big game. And let's run through the Dolphins' defense. The competition to go to the Pro Bowl at safety is fierce in the NFL, but Rashad Jones makes his case year in and year out as one who should go. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Let's go. 12 yards there and a first down. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the... Uh, and that is taken in by Hearns. <sighs> He's got it for a Cowboys touchdown. Alan Hearns. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. 
But this is a crew. They've come out flat their last two games, both losses. But just judging by the energy level, they look different here early, and that touchdown shows how. Yeah, it seems to me that that touchdown gets them off the treadmill. Because, you know, you, you've been on the treadmill. I've seen you work out. You go forever <laughs> and ever, and it tells you you've gone somewhere. But you really have. You're in the same spot. They've exchanged it for an escalator. Go. Go. Still got some hills to here climb, but they can get there. These are good analogies. I run outside sometimes, though. So, you know, get, get some fresh air, a little sun on your face. A little, a little wind in there. Yeah, that's right. So now here come the Dolphins. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination of whether to actually challenge. Oh, Rosen is stripped to the football. I hate fumbling so much. Take over with a football just outside of the 10 at the 12-yard line. A little careless with a football, and he also had a fumble loss last week, didn't he? He certainly did, and when I'm watching him play, the one thing that comes to mind is always remember. There's no way that happens. Jason Witten, his second touchdown on the season. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. A nice, tidy little drive there. Getting the ball in excellent field position. And only one play to score it. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know what? that, right? They just kind of script the ball game. And typically those scripts go between 12 and 12. That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. He was in a tackle animation and he just put his hand down and he broke out of it and ran five more yards on this job. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Jalen Smith, who took a huge step forward last year, in on the tackle for Dallas. And now it's Rosen looking. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. That doesn't need to be a breakdown. Just I, they move. And they know it affects the defense because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary. And I think you're exactly right. Wasn't there is no way that guy gets there that quick. Guy sprang open probably because of his movement out of the well, pocket. there was no one on this guy, so I put him on an out route. And this guy just runs there so quick. Oh, the bright side, Dwayne Hansen just threw his first touchdown pass. <laughs> the third move to do it, but... Oh, Lord. And we tied the game. It's 14 to 14. <laughs> what are you playing on, by the way? I'm definitely not playing on Mad Freeman. Uh, you're making me if suffer all alone. If I was playing on all men, it would be like 52 to 4. It would be like 52 to 3. And the end result. Because this is not bad. Not bad. We do it. 
and a lot of teams would just panic, abandon the play. Top pass is done. I'm well, losing 14 to nothing already in the first quarter against the Cowboys. They have a lot of X factors on their team. Say. I'm having a look. Our line is having a wee bit of trouble with Fletcher Cox. <laughs> Who knew Cox could be so bad? Oh, he's bad, all right. He sacked me five times. <laughs> Four. Four. It's not, it's, 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 it's not good. There we go. Touchdown. That's what I'm talking about. Or Dwayne Haskins has just been... <laughs> Alright, we still have a chance in this game. Nice job coming off of that and getting it to someone who was open. And a man out of the backfield gets in for the score. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. A reminder coming up later tonight. A lot of buzz about this game. The Browns, they've been doing some travel. Back-to-back -back primetime games for them. Monday night they were in New York. Now the Browns head to Los Angeles to take on the NFC champs. Browns and Rams, an 8:20 kickoff Eastern time. Oh, twenty in California. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, this game certainly has some historical ties. These two teams met way back in Super Bowl VI, played at Tulane Stadium in New Orleans, Dallas getting the victory. First title for the Cowboys. They've won four more since, but... That next season was when Miami had the perfect season. Still the only undefeated campaign in league history as they capped it with a win over Washington at Super Bowl VII in Los Angeles. On third down, it's Prescott. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. I think everyone in the stadium saw that big hit coming. And I, as a former defensive back, have to admit I'm a little disappointed. He actually was able to hold on to the ball. He brought the lumber on that play. Give my man a whole lot of credit for taking the hit and possessing the football. And picking up the first down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good. No, what? 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 My guy does nothing there? I'm holding... Uh, I don't know no more. I, I covered the where I knew they were where they were going, and I just get no animation. I got to start spawning the ball. No man, don't do that. It's bad. From the red zone now, Prescott toward the end zone, but that's gonna wind up incomplete. The man with over a thousand catches, Jason Witten, the intended receiver, that'll bring up second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there. Need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked there we go. Well, that wasn't exactly a work of art, was it? No, that wasn't a thing of beauty. That's just why I don't play in points per reception fantasy league. Is that, is that what they call it? You still gets a point there. Yeah. Um, and you went that far back. No bueno. But I'll tell you what. I wish I had like that. On, uh, on my Good job, game. D. We bent, but we didn't break. On third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. And I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys yeah. right now. <laughs> There's up right this man. It's so good to me. The Titans are over three. Of course, the door for Meyer was opened after a little bit of a surprise move. The Cowboys letting go of Dan Bailey last year. Yeah, Maher took over in the preseason. He's from Nebraska via the Canadian Football League, where he kicked for four years. And I saw him personally make two game-winning field goals last season against Detroit and in Atlanta. And now let's talk about Kenyon Drake. My God. He's come out of the gate strong. Now Drake, Drake, I swear. 
You keep fumbling, man. I'm gonna bench you. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like okay, I'm sorry, but there's no way he gets to, he'll get to the running back that fast. I'm sorry, that's just not possible. Now a throw for the left sideline, and he's got it. 11 yards there, first down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or... Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. No, Drake, I swear to God, bro. He's pissing me off of his carry. That stat's big, isn't it? I mean, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. 20! Yeah, I'm starting Bollage, dude. Bollage is better anyway. The Drake. Spirit Drake. That's what I like. I don't know what Drake's carrying is, but... Where, where can I find carrying at? How is it lower than the backup? Come on, man. on the season. And the Dolphins <coughs> able to get this back within a touchdown. Luke, we're only down by three, man. Dolphins have a shot. Gets Cowboys. That's both teams. Both teams are 0-2. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. <laughs> when I, they were doing that thing on Dwayne Haskins, and Stephen A. Smith thought he was a mobile quarterback. <laughs> Definitely mobile. Mobile. No, he's not. It's not at all. He's not at all. Stephen A. was talking about He's like, do you think just because I'm black, I'm mobile? <laughs> What did he say? And he takes us up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Dak fighting the former Jag Hearns for the Dallas first down. We were doing so good. Third down. Oh, someone get out there. Damn, that, that pass. That read option pass. was a good play. That's another gain of 15 on back-to-back plays. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. How do you get much more balance than this? Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Another nice gain, 13 yards. Oh, God, Zeke's in the zone. Oh no. What is this? <laughs> First man free. <laughs> it sounds like whoever is the first man against someone breaks the tackle. I can remember. Uh, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Don't get tackled for a loss, bro, if I get a tackle for a loss. Give me that, Dak, you dumbass. Dak's a dumbass. It's a good return here as he'll get all the way up close to the 35. Here we go, Baker. Love you, man. In as many weeks from his linebacker position. Think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man? No, no. The Marcus Lawrence is now in the zone. Now I got oh, Luke. They're in the zone. What, what's, what's the 
Which is, which, which is, don't allow 10 yards. Okay, that, that one's not hard to get. I can get 10 yards. Guess you just got 10 yards. <laughs> that was not too bad. That one I could break. That one's an easy one. Get tackle for a loss from Zeke. That doesn't sound easy. If I'm mistaken. That's what I mean. Oh, Drake's hurt again. This is why I'm probably going to let you walk in free agency. He cannot stay healthy for a lick. Alright, Rosen. That's an inaccurate pass. But if you're going to be inaccurate, throw it that way, honestly. Throw it away from the defender, not towards the defender. <laughs> no! Lawrence is so quick, this right tackle could not handle him. Bro, that was torn peck. A torn peck he has. I think he's out for the year, Luke. That might be a positive. <laughs> out for the year. Oh, I think so. Who's out for the year? Uh, probably Kenya Drake. Oh, no. I benched him anyway. He pissed me off. He fumbled two times in one drive. So, Luke, I think he kind of deserved it. Yeah. Oh, please make it. Please make it. Please make it. Alright, we're good. Tie game, Luke. And that will tie things at 17 all. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays. Yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine play drives pay dividends later with another nine play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. Oh no, don't call that. Don't call that. Call, don't do that. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Throwing the out route and completing. Make a come on, man. You got to be stuck. Give me that. Heavy Look, I got another pick with Jerome Baker. So that's back to back drives where they throw an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, What's going on with your speed? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. I think I am at least going to change playbooks. This Redskins playbook is garbage. As they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this They have five game. sacks in the game already. We're, we're definitely going to switch this, is this Red's used to I mean, hot garbage. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. He was true on his first. This a tough one for 49 yards away. Sanders kick. Look, I'm leading at halftime. And that will do it wow. for this first half. So we've hit halftime. Hey, Fitzpatrick, what's up, buddy? These two teams at the break. 
As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks. And welcome in, everybody, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Time for a look around the NFL here in week three of the new year. We'll start up at New Era Field just outside of Buffalo. And it's the Bengals. Ooh, the Bengals started 2-0. Head towards Ooh. the break. A.J. Green, a touchdown reception. From there, let's get to Philadelphia. We check on the Eagles at home Eagles. at Lincoln Financial Field. And they wow. trail the visiting That's Lions interesting. in that one. Carry Lions beat the Eagles at halftime. Two touchdown run. Lastly, we head to Gillette Stadium in oh. Foxborough. Check on the Patriots. And they have the lead over the visiting yep. New York Jets. Hey, at least the, at least the Jets are 0-2 too. Three touchdown reception. <laughs> In our game, has been the UCLA man, Josh Rosen, with the strong first half. His guys lead, though by only a field goal, still anybody's game. As we send it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. Yeah, it's this is 35. Then he'll take this across oh. the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27. Partially is because there's no variety in the playbook. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go Don't really have anything to call besides the same quarter. Over and over again. Here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk? when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission. Typically what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from Zeke is still in the zone. Recipe works. <laughs> Throwing again on second down. Prescott. But the thing is, they haven't bothered uh, running the ball with him since he got in the zone, so that has helped. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how insane was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged, because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback, so they got their assignments. Brandon Graham has five sacks. I need to figure something about that other line. <laughs> you think? You think? You <laughs> think? He's not even the biggest problem. Fletcher Cox is the one that's doing the damage. Does that count as attack for loss? Because he ran out of bounds for like no gain. Does that count? Who knows? No, it doesn't look like it. We tackle for a loss, Luke. Wow! <laughs> They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level. For <coughs> there you go, Baker. Twenty twenty game. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately falling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest. Let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. Josh Rosen heading back out. The focus of our player spotlight. What can they do now, Charles, to make sure this highlight montage doesn't continue to show more pressure and pressure and pressure? You feel like it always comes back to leverage, don't you? Who is going to win that battle of the offensive and defensive lines? 
Low man wins. We talked about that, but we think about it in a running game. But guess what? The same thing happens when you're trying to pass protect. Are you low? Are you balanced? Are you I really probably should have tried to know if I'm not play action. Screw that. That did not look good. Nope. No play action in this team. Oh, okay. Maybe not even a run on the blitz. Okay. Oh, Grant, now Grant's hurt. Oh, man, we're dropping like flies. No, first one free is what Zeke has. It's a high fake out right on next Duke's spin or her. Okay. If you... The freight train is the one where it makes them really hard to tackle. Okay, I didn't know what you want. I'm like, uh-oh. It's, it's still it's still Zeke, but. Second and five now. Rosen. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And finally taken down at the third. I love you, Parker. That's your that one, You're the best guy we got. This locator shorter will not return for this game. Okay, that's fine. That route is not called. If you don't have a guy that can we have, put some mustard on it. No, we are not running to Demarcus Lawrence area. Nope. I run opposite to him. <laughs> wow. What do you mean, wow? Okay, so forget about the X factors for one minute. These superstar abilities are OP too. Yeah. Landon Collins has something. Well, no, he don't have it, but he has to get to a nine before he can have it. It's something called unfakeable. It says defenders with this ability are rarely faked out by ball carriers and cannot be faked out when user control. And that's it. But basically, it means if you're using the guy, it can't be faked out. Yeah. That's crazy. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, All right. no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. So it's his third field goal now with a ball game, and they've needed his leg. This last one gives him the lead. It's been a back and forth kind of a game, hasn't it? Now you got to tell your defense, guys. Need you to make this stand up because we got the momentum going in the right direction, but we need you to make sure we carry it home. Now whistles and we've got a man down. A man up, oh, Tavon Austin's hurt. Nothing's new. The training staff takes a peek. We'll take a break. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and ten at their own twenty-two. Hey. Here's Prescott. That's into the hands of Howdy. Howdy. I don't know who you're saying howdy to, but. We're in Sam. Hey, what have you been? Huh? Oh, about fucking time, you dick. About time for what? I can join this shit ass party. Ugh. Someone took a nap. No. No. Rough weekend. Lots of beer, but strong. I like how I accidentally sent a picture of my driver's license into. <laughs> to uh. Like I, ju I just took. I took a picture of it just for this website. It's to confirm my age. <laughs> oh my god. And then I clicked, I was trying to click the cunt, PC principal cunt, picture, and that was right beside it. I got it. Dumb, you dumb ass. Bobby Wagner, enforcer, guaranteed tackle after he hits Dick and Walker's. Jeez, do you even have Maddie yet? Nope. I'll get it tomorrow. I'll probably get the lead started on Tuesday, I think. I'll probably, uh, shut up. Shut up. 
Spencer. Raise your hand if you got stung by walls this weekend. If y'all can't see my hands up. No, I can't. I fucking hate getting stung. Tom Brady has got a lot of reviews. Yes, he does. But it's rightfully deserved, though. Stronger pass blocking from all offensive line. No! Why do we always fumble? Clutch. Reduced zone objectives late in close games. God bless America. You would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. 18 yards there and it'll be a first and goal. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there and start the offense. We typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. That'll bring up second and goal after the game of five. One man in the backfield. That's Elliott on second and goal. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys with a football. We'll be looking at the four to four. I can't wait to wake up a new man tomorrow, because today has just sucked. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here. And he will go down. A cowboy sack. Demarcus Lawrence in there to get him. And that is sack number six now for him on the year. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game. The way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Bro, what the fuck? Measure. What? Who's winning the Bristol Night Race? You know whoever wins is winning the championship, bro. Right? Oh, really? Yeah. That's interesting. Bro, I can't even get rid of the ball. I even... How can you get rid of the ball on Fortnite? I'm not even playing Fortnite. It says you're a liar. It says Fortnite on the party screen. Well, I'm at just... I'm so done with this bullshit. Responsibility the ends versus the tackles there, Charles. Well, most of the time when you talk about the ends, there you're. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. We call that sack look. It has been a good game for them. They haven't been pressured very much today, but on back to back sacks, now, maybe the defense is starting to figure out. That is really out. weird. 
Third and long for Prescott. And he's going to go down again. Wow. This is kind of weird, dude. Defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the old line they go to the sideline. They keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing. The old line coach will. Let's go! Let's go! Okay, Major, you know how they only have certain superstar X Factors? Yeah. Well, apparently there's more that are not being used by current players. And apparently, uh, I don't, I can't explain it, like, it's almost like they meant to give this player, these players an ability, but they didn't. Because, like, like, I'm not biased or anything, because Titans aren't my favorite team at all. I mean, I like them, but not like, really, really like them like Randy does. But I do think Derek Henry should have had at least something like Freight Train or something. So, I went into the uh, abilities thing, and I changed his development to a Superstar X Factor. And I was expecting to pick what I wanted to give him. I was going to give him freight train. It didn't let me do that. It just gave him one automatically. But what it gave him makes me think that they were going to give him one to start with. Or it's just based on player. Based on how the player is, I guess. Because I can't change it and that's... He got something called Wrecking Ball. Which says, when they enter wrecking ball, runners don't avoid contact. They create it. When they enter the zone, this ability increases their success rate on the next three trucks or stiff arms. And all you have to do to get it is rush for 10 yards and don't get tackled for loss. God bless America, Randy will be going crazy with that. Which I mean, I think that's kind of, he kind of needed that anyway. But. Yep, Kenyon Drake has a tour pack, he's out for the year. Sharp has picked his team for my league. He is the New York Jets.
They don't even let you can't play in heavy snow anymore. That's 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 a crop. Someone. You can play in light snow. I don't want light snow, I want heavy snow, I want Santa Claus I want snow so I want snow so uh I want so much snow Santa Claus has to pull has to uh, call a tow truck to get snow. Santa? 